Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and in this video I'm going to make a Project Life spread using the Kindred Spirits kit from Studio Calico and I believe this is the September kit of 2021. Um, I just recently subscribed to their kits and in my last haul I got this kit which was school related and I have a lot of pictures from school activities and you know of course back to school so I figured that I would use this one. Uh, usually I either pick my product first or my layout and I had this kit and I also had the April kit ups and downs so I flipped through my 2019 Project Life album and decided to use the spread with this kit which has this week has a bunch of school activities it was all school related photos uh, in the other side I do have some other pictures with kits from the school so that's why I'm only showing one side but I also use this kit from for the other side although I only think I use like maybe a few stickers and one card the rest were just photos it was also a very photo heavy week and I was bummed out like I'm always are when I don't see uh, numbers in a sticker sheet so I decided to use this stamp set which is also from Studio Calico I figured that I would use something that I also got from that haul and I forgot the name but I will link the products that I use below and I really love the font of this stamp set I also love that of course it has numbers and I love this card so I knew when I saw it that I was going to use it as a title card and now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put the dates and I was thinking about going along with the that last pen but then I decided to use a label since this kit doesn't have any labels I reach for my DIY kit uh, I always have a little Dollar Tree box and one of the items that I always use is labels and I use my Studio Calico inks to stamp the dates and I also use another roller date stamp to stamp some stars between the dates. And I wanted to add more things as always. I know that it's a busy card, it already has elements, but uh, I wanted to add like a visual triangle. And I'm also going to use these stickers which I use on the last layout that I made. Again, I'm keeping it around um, so whenever I have a school related or an art related layout I can use it. And the chipboard stickers are already sticky, it's just a thing that I sometimes do to like make sure make really sure that they stay up but i never had issues with studio calico chipboard stickers so and i wanted to use some little elements too like the scissors to divide the week and the number and this card is going to be sort of like a title card, but more to point out that most of the photos on the left side are from a picnic day that her school had. And um, there was some, uh, one photo that belonged to the right side, but the photo that I was replacing, which I think is the photo with my two girls, Froa I was replacing had other children in it so I thought it was just bad, best instead of um, blurring it or doing anything like that I always switch it with another card or another photo. And these are the alphas that came with the kit and I really like them. Um, I wish there were more letters because I think I, I wanted to write on a roll in one of the photos that I didn't show because it was a group photo um, but it didn't have enough O's and of course I'm sad because there's no numbers 
but I really love this kit. I'm surprised that it's still um, in the shop since, I don't know, I think it's so such a cool thing to use, especially for back to school. And the die cuts are a little bit big, which, I mean, considering that this is a documentary kit and a lot of your cards are going to be 3x4 and then you have photos. I wish they were a little bit smaller. They're really cute. I love them. And I think they're from in a creative bubble, which I absolutely love. But I do wish they were smaller. Now these little uh, cut-up parts, when I received the kit, I was like, I don't know. I wish there were stickers. I'm not a big fan. But uh, I love the texture. They grew on me and now I like them. I gave them a chance and I was going to give them a chance since they are in the kit and I am trying to use the kit because A, I've been looking at their kits for a while now and each month they get re they're really cute and I always feel like I'm kind of missing out and I also wanted to treat, it myself, to treat myself for Mother's Day so that was my present and it's, it's a good way to make layouts because, I don't know, having a specific number of products or items really helps my process. I, I can't have like an, I don't want to call it open room, like I can't just reach for stickers in my section of the card where I have stickers because I'm going to get so distracted and it's going to take me so much longer that I just rather use kits. And I'm going to layer this pencil die cut with this um, cut apart. This is the best and the brightest. And I wanted to, to uh, staple it, but I didn't have enough space. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And I thought it was really cute. I do like to use uh, the space on the photos and here I'm gonna use the stamp set to stamp directly on the photos again using the Studio Calico um, ink pads I am so used to either the feed your craft or the everyday explorer stamps that I I don't know I was iffy about these stamps because they are not as I want to say deep like the cut is not Deep enough like if you ever had a stamp set from everyday explorers they're like really clean and uh, the lower parts are like really really low there's not a lot of difference so I I wouldn't recommend these stamp sets to be if you're not you know good at stamping yet I would be a little bit iffy to recommend these my options again would be everyday explorers that their, their stamps are I don't know <laughs> cleaner or maybe I'm being super picky which is totally a thing and I do have some go-to washi in that little rhino uh, the sadly is not available anymore but it's from we are memory keepers but I'm going to keep going back to that old one from Freckle Fawn, which is the yellow with the... Um, it has two patterns. So it has yellow and clear and yellow, orange and white. And I wanted to use this stamp a little bit more. I love the design. It's just that I wish... I don't know. I like them better. But I and I like that it's an everyday stamp, which is very useful. And I'm gonna use this library card style to write my journaling with a Tombow Mono Join pen. Either the 02 or the 03 are my go-to if I'm writing somewhere very small. I like 01. Very unusual for me to use anything bigger than three to journal. And this card is already a little busy, but I do love my journaling. And those scissors are, they kind of suck. <laughs> but I do like that they kind of chew on the paper. It gives it like a little bit of 
texture like I ripped it, but not really. And I'm going to use that school bus because one of the um, photos on the right, I do have pictures of a field trip. And I love those tiny crayons, they're so cute. And I keep wanting to add things to it, but it's fine, I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, I love the little sayings. And I'm gonna only showing you one side because again, uh, the other side has pictures of other kids. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have the items I use linked below. Uh, most of the links are affiliate links. You don't have to use them, but I do appreciate a lot when you guys use them. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Bye!